morning, YouTube viewers. Good morning, Facebook Nation. Good morning to all people, all colors, all races. On the face of this earth. screenshot of the person that was sitting in that bench that's actually right in front of this uh, little monument thing they have here but I'm gonna put that picture up just just to do it because um we're in a new time period and uh, when you get to a point where you're not saying anything wrong I said nothing wrong in my video yesterday but in actuality I did I made up a, a comment um, I made a comment in regards to what the the uh, cannons that you see in that the picture. So you see the picture of the video the screenshot and then a picture of um, a screenshot of the person that was sitting on the bench. So it was ironic that right after right after I finished the video, the guy made a beeline like out of here, just took one, just went out because I had to walk by him in order to leave. And he knew what he was doing the whole time and why he came here and why what took place took place. And why I'm saying this is because a lot of the problems that are happening in our world today is that they spend meaning people of European descent, as well as their, their pansies. You know, people who have immigrated here, um, I'm speaking about the ones that are owning these bodegas, uh, um, meaning these corner stores, these gas stations, people of uh, Middle East descent. And they carry out the same racism as, you know, Europeans, and they don't mind it. So, you know, I, I don't smile, I don't deal with them in that type of way, I don't have nothing against them. I have, what I have against is people who think uh, other people are underneath them. That's what I have a problem with. So when people think like that, I don't even want to know you because we all have a purpose, you know. And one of the things that I, I've mentioned uh, also in the video yesterday, so I'm going to give you little things of what I was talking about and why they altered the video. They actually altered it. They didn't get in touch with me to say, hey, uh, look, um, you know, you said something and you can't say this. They didn't do that because we're following the guidelines. And speaking of the guidelines, we're going to talk about that word guide and uh, the word guide is not going to be used as a guide, but an actual guide stone. So, and why they spend so much time watching us, but then they allow themselves to anyone else of their color or their descent, they allow them to plan, carry out, recruit, everything when it comes to domestic terrorism that we're facing with. But now if you're a person of this skin, we have to watch you. We have to watch you when you go in the store. We have to watch you if you live in a neighborhood. We have to know what you think. If you're in school, then we need police there to watch you too. When in actuality, you're the one that needs to be watched. And that's why the person who blew up that guide stone, think about this. You, in order to blow up granite like that, big granite blocks, exploded, blew it up. You have to stack whatever kinds of charges or anything else. Well, young still, you're busy watching this. Yesterday, busy watching, you know, I made a video in the afternoon. At the same time, they said, well, let's send somebody over there into the park, sit there, find out what this guy is saying. While in Atlanta, you got somebody that's running around just carrying whatever materials they need. Let's do 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 Let's walk over and blow it up. So you, in a sense, you're sad. And I'm not talking about uh, uh, white women or European women or Middle Eastern women. I'm not talking about you because the only reason you take this mindset on is because of the cowards that you happen to call husbands and the cowards that, you know, you happen to call the men that you happen to call uh, family. And it's these men that are out here that are doing this. You know, so like I say, when I see things like the guide stone being, you know, being blown up, it's not surprising to me. It's not surprising because you don't care about your own. Even when it, if, it, if you got a kid over the holiday weekend who for probably for a year or a year prior sat there and told people what he was going to do, how much he hated people. But yet and still, hey, give him guns. And then listen, forget about that kid. Go to the one before where the parents said, oh, we'll buy you the gun. Go and do what you got to do. So you're sad, you know, and the thing about being sad is, like I say, I have so much respect for, for these women who, you know, no matter what they've been taught, they still show kindness. They still are, you know, they still believe that everybody has a purpose. Not all women, but like I said, the only people that I have respect for, the only people that I show respect for, is people who care about all people. Because we all have a purpose on this earth. But um, it was just a sad, not, not a sad ordeal. Um, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. You know, just the, the, so much hypocrisy. You know, all over, not just in this country, all over the world. And, you know, men are doing it. You know, and it's crazy. And the thing is that the men are, are empowering women to take on that mindset. And then we say, well, it make you upset. 
or you give a privilege, you're given a privilege card. But it actually means nothing. If those men still cheat on you. Those men still disrespect you. Those men cheat, probably cheat you worse than the people that you, you know, you oppress. So, you know, it's not just for the women. It's for every. This video is for everybody who's here. You know, because you're a lot of the things that are happening in this world are direct result because of some some of the people who are watching these videos. You know, but the thing is, we can all change it. And I want to tell you about how karma is. You know, after that, it happened to me because it gets kind of tedious. And again, if you go back into my my. Uh, videos you know there's an active investigation going on right now from a, a complaint that i have made against a, a bunch of people who felt that we the skin makes them above and that they can treat and do anything that they want to do however this skin also has intelligence and this skin got them in hot water and for years it took for this case to be picked up by the people that, that are operating the case right now it took years for it to happen because again like i said the wheels of justice they move slow for the privilege they move slow. You have to have overwhelming evidence to make them even consider taking your case. But they took mine. They took it. And people are going to have to answer for what they have done. Not just to me, but to other people too. So, you know, there's always a cause and effect to everything. But again, even like when I go was on the trail, when I would come to places like this, they'd always send someone to come up and say, hey, how you doing, friend? Um, what, are you, what are you doing there? But you can't do that with someone like me. So all they do is stand off to the side and say, well, I'll watch you. I'll make you feel uncomfortable. And they, you know, most people who who are vocal, most people who, who are trying to do the right things in life, you have to realize too that you're being followed as well. Because again, we think that the New World Order is not here, but the New World Order has been here, which again, goes back to the Guidestone. Why blow up something like that? And then why so minimal? Why such a minimal uh, uh, coverage of it? Do you know what that stone represents? That, that land, that area, what that represents? That's like... Blowing that up is equivalent to blowing up every church and every mosque in the United States and around the world. Because blowing them up, that stone stood for what we're talking about now, the oppression that we're under. That was the guide stone. Walk up to it and it tells you exactly what the New World Order is about and where you fit into that New World Order. So I just want to say thank you. And I also want to uh, also say thank you to uh, a good friend. Um, uh, who, you know, you made my day. Not only did you make my day seeing you this morning, you know, when I was, you know, working out, but not only just seeing you, but, and I, when I got home, I hit the number. I hit the number. I was like, you know, first I was like, you know, coming on my way home, I'm like, wow, I said, you know, this morning turned out to be a beautiful morning after such a, you know, so-so day yesterday. And every day I wake up in a good mood, but that's the ticket. <laughs> I got home and I'm going through, I buy three tickets. So. I go in the morning after I get back from work and out, I always see if I won the, the day before. And I get there and I was, before I even walked in and all into my, my candle, I was I said, you know what? I said, you know, this day is so good right now. I said, you know what would top it off? If I hit the number and I hit it. Not for a billion dollars, but I think it's like 41 or $81 or something like that. But then again, you know, if you don't care about money, which I don't, you know, to me, it, it just it was good that that energy followed, and I hope that, you know, Ms. B, that energy follows you as well, because, wow, you made my morning, you made my morning, and just the icing on the cake was hitting the number, so I carry that energy, whenever, in every morning, I, I'm going to leave you with this, when you wake up, you have to have that positive energy, and you have to protect that positive energy, because we have to remember, it doesn't matter what, what you believe in, rest is replenishment, so if you wake up and you're cranky, your, your, your stress levels, that's where your heart problems come into play, um, everything. And, you know, the, the world we live in is keeping everybody in debt. So, you know, we have to, you know, get to the point where we have more rest than we do anything else. We, we get the proper rest. And, and we're, more not, we're more cordial to one another. So, with that, everyone, just have the most beautiful day. Have an awesome day. Always be the best person that you can be. And remember, don't ever, ever, ever let anyone take away from who you are or take or drain your life. Because this is what this is all about. I don't care how much people you think we're living in a material world. We are not. We are 95% spiritual. I believe even 98% spiritual. The physical world doesn't even make up most of the existence. It's a small portion of it. So understand who you are spiritually, which it helps you to become the best person that you can be. But you also have to speak up. We're not living in a day anymore where, you know, you have to follow the band leader. You know, you got to set your own trail and move away from these leaders. Because this is the situations we're in now, right now. So... Hopefully, everyone, I know that you will. So have a great day, men, women, children, no matter what language, no matter race, what race, no matter what color. May you have the most beautiful day. Have an awesome day. Peace and blessings.